Recent developments in the Boy Scouts of America's settlement plan to resolve tens of thousands of sex abuse claims has left lingering a dispute with insurers over a previous agreement. Here to discuss a new best commentary on the issue is Christopher Graham, I am best senior industry analyst. And Chris, according to the commentary, some insurers subject to making payments to victims have ex expressed dissatisfaction with the latest terms. Where does this all currently stand? Hi, John. Thank you for having me this morning. Uh, there's another hearing coming up later this month regarding the uh, BSA bankruptcy case and meeting with their insurers. So hopefully it'll all be wrapped up uh, come the end of September. I imagine this puts them in an awkward position given the sensitivity of the matter. So Chris, do these payments potentially represent a sizable loss for insurers? For the individual claimants, they're, they're not that large compared to some of the other uh, sexual abuse cases that we've seen, which have been, you know, o on average, over a million dollars per claimant. Uh, when you look at the claims in terms of you know, the insurer's earnings and their capital, it's probably not going to hit their capital. We're looking at something that's smaller than natural catastrophes overall, so probably not that large of an event. Now, there's been concern about how to prove the validity of these claims. So, Chris, is this issue reflective of a greater one affecting insurers, specifically social inflation? Yeah, that's going to be the, the, the tough one to figure out here, right? How does this, you know, how many claimants are going to be getting, you know, small amounts just, you know, riding on the coattails of a larger claim? And what does this do to, you know, social inflation overall? Uh, that's one of the problems with, with the, the, the uh, setup, right? There's not a whole lot of vetting of the, the claims in some cases, and that's going to lead to payments that you know, may not be necessary I, I don't, you know, or, or may be inadequate on the other end, too. We, so we really don't know what's happening with that, and what does that do to social inflation? Uh, you know, it, could we see a lot more types of these claims? I think that's a concern, right? What precedent does this set, and will there be more class action suits with unvetted claims uh, being paid out. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, John. That was senior industry analyst Christopher Graham. You can find the full commentary online at ambest.com. For IMBest TV, I'm John Weber.